folks, if you're currently listening to that, uh, I need a few more minutes. Right? I'll be right back with you. We have a lot to talk about, but I just need a few more minutes. I'll be right there in a moment with you. See you in a bit. Right, let me prepare some stuff. Right. Let's switch the scene. Right, and we're live. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all in to a bonus stream for Xenoblade Chronicles Cross. I will, from this point on now, talk about this game instead of X saying cross. Because it makes more sense, actually, if I think about it. <clears throat> so, there is currently a lot happening, man. Um, 
in every way possible. Like, especially, you probably all heard it at this point. The Xenoblade Chronicles 3 art book is making its rounds. And, uh, boy, so there are some rather juicy information. Uh, wait, actually... Yeah, let me start a recording. So, I'll, I'll say it once again. Um, there's currently the art book making its rounds, even though the book is supposed to come out on Monday, April 1st. <laughs> um, yeah, there are some really juicy information flowing around. Also, I would like to welcome in freaking Popo, Olympian Animates, Zeno Bros, Firewolf. Welcome in, everyone. It's great to see you, folks. Um, I don't see any chat in the live stream. Wait a sec. You should start working. Let me double check on the bot. Okay. Ah, oh, wait a second, wait a second. Refresh. Let me refresh again. And then switch the scene. Does it reappear? It doesn't. Why? I like to... I like to um, make it happen that people can chat with each other, also see it on stream, if it's between Twitch and YouTube, too. Maybe if I do all that? Okay, yeah, but... <clears throat> Let me continue here, what I said before, so... Oh, sorry, hit the mic. I also have the page open here, with all of the... Well, not official infos, but that got translated. Something that is not uh, made by either an AI or Google Translate. We know how those translations can go. Um, but yeah, there is... <laughs> those are some infos, man. So, here. Let me talk about it a bit, alright? Um... Maybe we can also leave the barracks to have a nicer background. And so just the barracks. Also, welcome him on with Hard Crazy How Takahashi keeps on surprising us with what he is and what <laughs> This man has been cooking, alright? And not just a little bit. That is genuinely fascinating. Where's my skill? There's my skill. Also, on a little side note, I've been recording this game I, I've recorded this game yesterday for a long time as a matter of fact <clears throat> I can be really determined if I want to do something <laughs> I'll do it and I uh, pretty much created a second account on here and play through the entire story again to uh, record all of the story cutscenes and also some affinity missions like the one for Nagi. Which was, yeah, that was something. And then at the end, we received the art book info, and I was kind of broken there at the end. So let me go through the infos <clears throat> one after another. I'm gonna read them and then give my two cents on that. Uh, so, regarding the Black Fog, also, if you, if you want the link... Uh, I don't think there's anything to it, really. The worst thing that's gonna happen is if the stream gets taken down, but honestly, it's not even two days before that, so it should be fine. It's not like it's whole two months. So most people watch on YouTube, let me just throw that in real quick. If you want to read through that yourself. There you go. I still don't know why the chat is not appearing on stream.
Yeah, genuinely, I don't, I don't know why it, the chat is not appearing. Ah, unfortunate. Okay, but let's go. But maybe it's, it's even. Oh no, it's not better. Ah, whatever. I should have double checked that previously. Okay, so Black Fog. Here's a quote from Takahashi, who said that um, the first thing that can be answered, I believe, is regarding the Black Fog. Basically, it's a sign that the worlds of 1 and 2 are approaching each other. Those signs are appearing in another world, the opposite world. For example, in Zealblade Definitive Edition, the Fog King appears on Shulk's side, looking at him. Looking at it from a different perspective, a similar phenomenon was occurring on Rex's side. I don't know if I just heard that for. I've been told that, but I don't know if it's official or not, or if it was in the art book. But there was a future connected scenario planned for the second game, but it was scrapped. But yeah, so something that we saw in Future Connected has been happening also in the world of All Rest. And um, just that this was portrayed in Xenoblade 2, I believe there was a monster called the Infernal Goldo, which of course we know that was the final boss of Future Connected. <clears throat> the Fog King. Um, he also then later says that the ID card that this boss drops where we all kind of thought that this would be Galea. It is not Galea. <laughs> it's just a regular woman. I was one of those believers that thought that it, that is Galea. But it seems, no, this is just an ordinary woman. So yeah, I guess that's that. Um, also, I would like to keep it now spoiler 3 regards to Xenoblade Cross. Just for the video's sake, but I, I'll, I think I'll also include then a part two. And no, not part two, but a second half of the video where I come to also possible connections to this game. Um, also, Lance is a Machina. I think that was pretty self explanatory or it was kind of obvious, but he just said that. Confirmed it pretty much. Um, Takahashi says about the survey, regarding most ques questions that were written in the survey, almost all of them have proper answers. However, <laughs> I'm just not answering them now since I don't think it's necessary at this point. So for those sorts of things, well, if Monolith Soft is fortunate enough to continue creating things in the future, then I think we will be able to answer it at a certain point. For example, I understand that there are many question, uh, many requests to see what happens after the ending. However, if we were able to do that, we would have to make what lies further beyond from Resident Blade 3. So uh, I understand the sentiment, but please hold for a bit. If you can look forward to it and wait, that would be appreciated. <laughs> Is that so, Mr. Takahashi? Uh, the possibilities, they just keep on growing. Also, next point. It, it, it will just keep on getting better, I promise. Regarding the admin of Origin, uh, regarding the world of Ionios, or rather the way Origin works, there is a proper reason for it. In actuality, there's this and that reason, and that's why this world is constructed as such. That kind of thing. Now that, I can't say it yet, yeah, yeah, now is not the time for that, so for now it's fine to think of it basically a, of a virtu- virtu- ah, my English is failing me here, my virtual world, that wouldn't be wrong. To put it simply, the administrator of that world could do anything, and in the main story of Xenoblade 3, that was Zed. That's the story, yes? For the villains of Xenoblade 3, Takahashi says, uh, skipping over some parts and uh, probably by the dude who translated that. I wanted to change a bit how the villains were portrayed. For example, in Xenoblade and Xenoblade 2, the villains had their own pride or their own principles. It could be a philosophy or even faith. 
but the villains had their own sense of justice. But for Xenoblade 3, I had a bit of... What I what if I brought the enemies closer to reality in terms of what is reality? Let's say for example those in positions of power saying people in positions of power are villains is well a bit of a dangerous way to put it. But let's just say as an example in real life society they are the system. As Z says they can decide on a system and they can run and they can run it. Even for those people in positions of power, I'm sure they have a life story, social ties and such, but what we can see at the surface, what we can feel is their roots. Most of that is, how should I say this, a desire. A desire for control, money, fame, and maybe, very rarely, lust. Was there a Mobius that lusted? <laughs> I don't... I don't remember that. That's where it tends to be rooted in and occasionally some unsavory people show themselves. What if those people were the villains? So the villains this time around are the Mobius and for them I wanted to make them villains you couldn't sympathize with by exaggerating their the unsavoriness and patheticness that real life humans have. So what Takahashi is pretty much saying is, uh, you know, Mobius <laughs> They are kind of like the leaders of our world. Which is kind of a wild thing to say, right? I, I mean, yeah. I, I, I get it. I, I kind of get, can get behind that. Why is kind of creepy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I can actually see that. It was kind of creepy. Um, so he also then added, I believe there is a scene where X, uh, X, where Z says, it's because it amuses me. But that line, it could be, it's because three star restaurants taste delectable. Or it's because I love to make money. The line can be whatever, we place the Mobius in that position as a representation of that unsavory aspect of reality. I mean, is there anything we can add to that, really? <laughs> a collective mind. Also, a collection of what we don't like about our world. At least that's what I'm getting from that. But going over to the next point, and... Man, this is... <laughs> this is something. I mean, we had a theory on that. But he just outright states that, commenting on N's sword. What's inside the sword of the end that N holds, that would be Logos. I mean, it's Malos. But Malos for the time being is dead, or has disappeared. As to why Malos is there, I'm sorry about this, but I can't answer that at this point. But when N is holding, there is Malos himself. What do you mean, at this point you can't answer that? At this point he can't answer that. Is he, is he stating that Malos will return for Xenoblade 4? I also heard, I, I don't think it's written in here, but and maybe it's not even official, I, though I've heard it getting thrown around. That Dirk was deconfirmed of being Mithra's child? And like, we, we haven't, well, Takahashi hasn't talked about this child at all. It isn't mentioned in the third game, not in Future Redeemed, like, anywhere. What if the protagonist of Xenoblade 4 is Mithra's child with Malos as his blade? <laughs> Just imagine. Um, then, regarding Matthew's gauntlet. The fists of the end. 
Pneuma is inside there and therefore both Pyra and Mithra, you can think of it as both of their wills being present within the gauntlet. And also, regarding Lucky7, this is probably the info that got thrown around the most. Lucky7, which Noah came to wield, and I quote, this is actually, uh, this is not mentioned within the story, but Fiora is inside it. And fr from what I've heard, Lucky7, it is a reference to the fans you know, as an anti-spoiler measure, calling Fiora 7. And also, I think Ryan was mentioned that he ended up being just a simple origin shard, because people can also turn out as objects in Ionios. Which means that Ryan is a origin shard, Fiora, is lucky seven. <laughs> Pyra and Mithra aren't the fists of the end of the gauntlet from Matthew, which also eventually ended up like Noah was wielding Fiora. He wielded the wives from the first two games' protagonists. And then this man took that sword and yeeted it into the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't seen anything that deconfirms it, but nothing is that confirms it. So yeah, we still know nothing about the child then. Ryan was one of the origin shards we collected in chapter 7. Of course. <laughs> of course. If I remember right, there was no confirmation of Dirk being or not being her child, okay. It's just that this his early concept art is very unhuman-like, okay. Also, yeah, um, it seems that in the English translation, uh, it seems that they refer to multiple people, because I also discussed it with some other Xeno folks. That Rico very clearly said that everyone is right here with us. But it seems that's a, a mistranslation. He meant a single person. Or a very dear person to the character. I don't know, man. That is. That is something. Uh, continuing. In regards to the above statement about Lucky7, nobody that was present for the interview seemed to be aware of, <laughs> of this information. Well, that is so funny to me, I don't know. And this statement caused a bit of a stir, with all of them simply asking in response, Fiora? This man is not even sharing this info with his co-workers and such. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Or, or wait, does it make sense? I'm actually not sure myself. Um, so, next point. Elaborating, elaborating on it, he states, While some people like Shulk and Rex appear in this world in the flesh, some people appear as an object. And that is an expression of reflection... Uh, expression or reflection of their traits or thoughts. Things like, how can I change this world? I think this is the best way to do so. Think of it as something like that. That is... Uh... I mean, yeah, we, we mentioned that before. He also then talks about... Uh, yeah, what I also said that he <laughs> throws the sword into the ocean. Riku said that there are important people in the soul, but I really just think he said people because of how Nopon speak. Maybe. I, I don't know, man. I mean, Riku, we'll come to that also in a bit. This sly freaking Nopon, he was lying to us, and not only once. He was lying to us multiple times. I'm sure we'll come to that in a bit. 
Wait, will we come to it in a bit? This Nopon, I swear. I have written it down in my notes. I, I, I'm not sure if it'll come here in the oops official translation. Um, but let me just open my notes. He told the story at the very beginning of three. Mm. There they are. Stream notes. So yeah, he talks about that story saying Sovon, uh, Sovon. <laughs> seven Nopon swordsmiths hammered it out of seven types of white steel over a period of seven years. And Takahashi himself said, well, yeah, that is just a convenient lie that he told us. One of many lies that he told us. He knows exactly what he was doing. Melia pretty much told him, hey, here's Fiora, give it to someone who's worthy in the future. He said, yeah, got it. No worries. He's, oh, unironically, he seems almost like the Mobius of Call Me Nine, you know, who was overlooking things. And, <laughs> I don't, and all of that is so wild, dude. That, uh, ah, yes, it, it is what it is, right? So, where did we left? Okay, throw it into the ocean. And then he said, um, Takahashi responds to that after he's been asked about, is that even fine <laughs> that he threw that sword into the ocean? Um, this conversation, how do I put this? It deals with the fundamental aspect of origin. Origin and Ionios, you can think of it broadly as a virtual world. Think of it like a server in a virtual world. It actually isn't the case, but this will be fine for demonstration purposes. And then he laughs. He was probably smirking or and smiling the whole time when he did that interview here. He, he's playing with us at this point. Um, and within that, there's source code that's running. And as a way to express that, it takes... It can take the form of a system. No, ach, jumping uh, sentences here. It can take the form of a sword, there you go. But also not. And Alvis was responsible for the general management of origin system. As the administrator, well, Alvis in this case, was quietly watching for a while after origin started up. As this was happening, Zed, a partial administrator and collective conscious-like entity, starts doing things on its own. The story of Future Redeemed starts when Alvis deems this un unacceptable. So Alvis was just, was just standing there watching over everything. Zed wanted to play around and Alvis got mad at him. And then it ended up like that, <laughs> in Future Redeemed. Continuing, he states, Many things that happen uh, after that... Oh wait, many things happen after that, but Alvis... Note who he's talking about specifically is not named, but I assume Alvis, or more specifically A. Okay. Ends up sliding... Uh, siding with Shulk and... Co. So there was a, no longer a general admin, and so Zed replaced that position and that's why Zed can mess with the source code, making the human lifespan 10 years and observing it because it's amusing. And things like that, although the whole 10 year lifespan thing was a change made to the code prior to Future Redeemed. Basically you can do a lot of things. You can be brazen about it when thinking about what can be done to break that source code. This is where you use external powers. I believe this was stated in the story, but a kind of power that exists outside the flow will be necessary. Which is interesting to say the least. 
Um, in regards to what the power would be, it can be the power of the will of young people living in this world, and regardless of Pneuma or Logos. It's the same kind of entity as Elvis, and thus an external factor from Zed's point of view. Therefore, combining these powers and retaking the world for ourselves, that would be the broad explanation of origin-related things. I also want to talk about not one, but I think that was part of it too. Because, uh, as you probably know, Nopons are... Well, we can talk about specifically Riku here. Riku is in future redeemed and 3 base game. There's quite some time between those two games. <laughs> um, I had to leave just before you mentioned the Fog King, so I don't know if you already noticed, but I've got something interesting. Takahashi led us to believe that Infernal Goldo, including all those zombies and Martha, were a product from failed experiments. But here he reveals that that Goldo, at the very least, is a sign of the two worlds merging. So which is it? No, no, I think what, what he uh, mentioned is that the fog well the the fact that these two worlds are merging kind of makes it happen that thanks to this fog th things from both the world appear in the other world so those guldos those monster thingies appear also then in the first game even though they're part of the second game if that makes sense but i think that the fact that those guldos our human still counts. I don't think anything has changed there. <laughs> um, so... Also, he mentioned that the city people, even though they weren't... Well, that was a discussion we had also, right? That... What about the city people? Because they came to life pretty much d during this whole Ionios thing. Spark, where are you reading all of this? I sent a link in chat before. It should be still there, I think, if you scroll up. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Technically, they shouldn't exists if everything goes back normal, right? If the world fuses together. But it seems, thanks to the will of Noah, his will shall be done, and it seems that they will be born normally in the new world. So we will also see Monica and Gondor and all of them in the new world. Which is also would be the next point. So yes, Gondor, Monica, they will be born in the new world. Has been stated here. He goes on to say that Noah and his friends are fighting for a world in which they, city people, can be properly born. But I will leave this part as a paraphrase for now. Takahashi says that through the lens of Nietzsche, Noah is as a character can be understood to be an Übermensch, that rejects nihilism. Nihilism, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Takahashi says on Riku, Riku, he's sly. He's doing all these things while completely understanding everything that's going on. When he says in the city, Meme, there's something tiny and cute over there. He's saying that on purpose, to bring attention to it. Saying, hey, look here. There's a really tiny person, and look, it's different from you guys. And getting an emotional response out of them, I suppose. He is a bit two-faced, two -faced, isn't he? His master upon is Melia, so Melia entrusted... So Melia has entrusted him with what is basically Fiora, and of course, he is also one of... And here is a very important thing also, Ricky's son. I've said it from the very start that he is Ricky's son. 
And I know there were a lot of people who said Kino. But there's one thing that Riku said that still led me to believe that no, it has to be Ricky. Because he said that he was... Uh, his father was a long-time companion of Melia. Traveling the world and everything. And Kino was... N I mean, maybe it's something that happened after Future Connected. <laughs> I don't know. But if we look at it logically from the two games, the base game and Future Connected, Riki has been way longer with Melia together than Kino. So yeah, that is now also confirmed. Ooh. Um, oh yeah, and he also mentioned it here. Also, yeah, he also says, um, speaking about Riku's explanations about the Lucky Seven and its grandiose origins, Takahashi says those were convenient lies that Riku made up. Quote ends here. This, this man was lying to us constantly, it's... <laughs> it's wild. Uh, on the Nopon, he has this to say. In this world, the world of Ionios, Nopon are external entities residing outside of the flow, so they don't have a lifespan. They live forever. Um, next point also, speaking on, the, on that subject, Kojima knows that some survey responders ask about why Shulk and Rex have lived for such a long time. Well, I don't know how, how people say that, because everything that happened in Future Redeem was only happening quite a few years after... Um, uh, just after uh, the, the whole merging thing, and then failed. So they lived normal lives, really. Apparently that was the only lie he, that he actually said. Was that? Or maybe also lie. Like maybe lying is not always the word that I'm searching for here. But let's just say he left out a lot of relevant infos too. Future Redeemed happens kind of a while after the merge. Well, let, let me read through that again. Um, so, Kojima notes... Oh wait, uh, Takahashi says, Shulk and Rex haven't lived long, have they? Origin is only a recreation of the worlds that used to exist, and if you think of them as being emulated, they should only be able to live what their lifespan is. Shulk and Rex? They defeat Alpha some years after arriving to Ionios. And they shift to sustain the world after that. But how should I say this? Their rank... Their rank is the same as Alva's and the rest of the Trinity processor. And this is also true for Melia, Nia and Fiora who wielded Maynath's Monado. In other words, if the admin handles it, anything can be done. If the source code of that world is written as a as a recreation of reality, then if, for example, the lifespan was set at 8 years old, when they say they can give their lifespan to Glimmer and Nickel, they can, if they rewrite the code. But you normally shouldn't do that, because you don't know what kind of glitches will occur. In response, A says this is against the rules. And that's sort of the idea there. <laughs> so... Yeah, did they cheat? <laughs> Okay. 
let's leave it at that. The next point is also interesting about the golden modes. He has to say this golden modes that's ascension. Note in the context of death. Yes, dissipation. And it turns to a, into a form that is difficult. No, impossible for Zed and the Mobius to use. Disappearing to the outside of their systems without being used by the Mobius. Mobius cheat. I mean, I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, Mobius cheat, yeah, but... Okay, the Liberators cheat, everyone cheats. <laughs> okay, you know what? I love that explanation. I think that's perfect. Let's keep it at that. Takahashi says that the hooded boy at the end of uh, at the start of chapter six is a part of N that resides deep within Noah's psyche. Hmm. I gotta go. I'll try to watch the vod. Have a good one, wild speaker. Thank you for joining in. The Takahashi's final comment to wrap the interview up, Xenoblade was released in 2010 and some of our customers have been with us. Okay, yeah, it's just a thanking message now. And uh, well, thank you Takahashi for providing us some peak fiction here. That's... That's all that I can say to that. But it's only... Like what, a few sites? As far as I know, it's some random dude who went into a shop, saw this book, pre-release, grabbed it, ran into a corner, took some pictures and posted them online. Like, he didn't... He didn't, uh, he didn't even buy the book. <laughs> it's not that expensive now, is it? Might as well could have taken this whole thing with him. Made photos of everything, but... <laughs> what do I know? But yeah, that is the official stuff, the official, well, quote-unquote, official translations. Inofficial official. And here's the thing where I gonna, gotta throw in some stuff from Cross. Let me... So if you have nothing to do with Cross... You better leave now. Yeah, that peasant what? You don't have any money for some books or what? <laughs> ah, that's the wrong one. Yeah, that's absolutely the wrong one. So, Future Connected, right? Future Connected is supposed to connect the future. And if you remember that in one of the, well, earlier chapters of this game, we fought some Tainted at a certain location. Where's this damn location? Why is this location so relevant? I feel like I'm flying to the wrong direction. Was it not here? I'll finish my sentence in a bit. <laughs> Where's that? Or was it over there? Ah, I can't remember. Was it somewhere here? Come on, don't leave me hanging. So yeah. I mean, it kind of ties in into my theory, my crackpot theory. So we have this Telethia, right? So, of course it could have been just a neat... Um, just Easter egg, you could call it. 
but the first time we meet him is over there. There you go. And if you notice, this is the only place where fog is present. Black fog. And this is also the first time we meet this Telethi Telethia. And if you remember from Future Connected, that there were quite a few Telethias that slammed themselves against that black fog portal, whatever that was, you know, on the Bion shoulder. Actually, let me grab my notes. <laughs> I've written it down here. Crackpot theory, where we met the fainted, there's black fog. There's also an item, black fog crystal or something that you can find in this game. Well, I'm not sure if I can find it. Collectopedia, was it here? In Noctilum? <laughs> Natural artifacts? Probably not. Okay, I will definitely not find it. Um, but yeah, they also mentioned that Black Fog is only appearing when two worlds are merging. And if you watch the previous stream where I got, well thanks to JB and also the middle caterpillar who is currently in chat. Um, said that Mira was supposed to be a world out of multiple worlds. Like a fusion of multiple worlds. Which is also one of the reasons why you can see multiple moons at night. Sure, planets can have multiple moons, but for the sake of this theory, let's just say that no, this is definitely one of the reasons. So, we also have the fact that Lao, when he died, that he turned into those light modes and disappeared somewhere, into somewhere. And Elma said multiple times that there is something about this planet. And you know that sword that Noah threw into the ocean? You know, Fiora Pyramithra? They are now part of, the, part of the planet. Which later gets fused into Mira. And since Pyramithra are an Aegis that can store data of the whole world, everyone on New LA is also still alive. <laughs> and even if the data on the life hole still broke, it, it still works. And since the Telethia is called the Endbringer, Malos, who will reappear, will eventually turn into a Telethia. And the Great One that Luxor is mentioning is actually Elvis. And he said that he's missing, you know, he, where is he? Well, because we killed him. I added that last part for the sake of including him, but, you know. Just to include all of the Aegises. But yes! <laughs> That's my theory. M makes perfect sense, no? What you think? Man, I, if there's one thing that we can all agree on... ...is that Takahashi is cooking, man. In the fourth game... Oh, this will be something. Honestly, at this point, I'm even more convinced than ever that Cross is just Xenoblade 10. I, I don't know what to tell you. I think I can also stop the recording here. Maybe I should just say leave a like and subscribe and whatever. I should do that more often. I, I barely never... I never say that really, even though I probably should. 
Like only eight or nine percent of all of my viewers are subscribed. How? 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 Explain that to me. Could be cooking or burning. Honestly, I have, I have faith in Takahashi. Considering how much I enjoyed every game he has made, and I'm talking about the Blade games here. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have faith in him. So I should not press stream ending, just recording. And the recording, there you go. Yeah, well, I mean, what can I say? It's... I'm sure that in the following days we'll get even more, especially after it launches, more infos and whatnot. It will be interesting to say the least, yeah. Right, let me teleport back to New LA. You know, I'm kind of... I think that's wild that this game actually has post-game content. Also, in a, in a way that the boss is beaten. Like, even when I'm flying around... Let me fly. That even the display is now... ...changed here. Power generation during startup. Which is great. <laughs> So what, let me let me start a mission. We've been streaming for an hour already. Well, technically I started a bit later, so it should be fine. I've been told that this mission is a big deal. Where is it? Ah, oh, wait. How about? Here it is. The knob on air. Required members missing. You should be standing here. Come on now. Where is he? Where's hell? Will you spawn now? There you go. We can hardly constrain our excitement. Wait, what did he say? Ah, now that Luxar is dead, there's even new dialogue. I, okay, I mean, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Shall we not travel the wilds of Mira while our thirst for knowledge still hungers? Of course. It seems we are needed. Um, this art book staff is overall positive, the problem is that he still needs to be kept on a leash, in my opinion. To avoid making these projects impossible to manage. Hmm. I can see why all of this crap was... Uh, well, why should I even care why this shit put into the art book instead of the main game? would make the game even less appreciate approachable. Yeah, I, ha I have to admit, some stuff like Fiora and her being Lucky 7, never in a million years would I have considered that. Like, yeah, we kind of we kind of thought that she is part of that sort, but now that she specifically is that sort, that Fiora is a blade now, And also, yeah, that apparently Logos isn't dead. Well, no, wait, he is dead, but that he's coming back, pretty much. Oh, Zachary Lorenzo, my man. Since apparently Logos doesn't stay dead, I'm not 100% convinced he's the Black Knight from the end. <laughs> um. This is good! 
they somehow have to make sense out of that. But honestly, also when it comes to the design of him, like he also wears a mask and everything. Like imagine playing Xenoblade Chronicles 4 and then eventually one of the big plot twists is he takes off his mask and that's just freaking Malos. And then he said, like, his first line or something will be, you sly little bastard. Or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Just something that Malus would say. Oh, man. Yeah, right. Starting the mission. I will tell you, this is one of the grand-grand-grandsons of Tora. Called after him specifically. There you go. Tora, not that kind of no pun. Tora not smart enough to think of such scheme anyway. Friends can trust Tora. Tora smarter than Tatsu. Friends can trust Tora. I respectfully disagree. Suffering from terrible sickness. That sounds serious. We can only pray we have what you need in stock. Mm. No good. Tall blue friend does not have secret ancient no pun remedy. You don't help. Luckily, Tora clever no pun who no recipe for remedy. Tora just need help finding ingredients. <laughs> okay, gathering mission. Happy to aid you, good sir. And we are sure Elma and her merry band would be pleased to assist as well. Of course, because I'm always. We'll do all we can um, nah, whatever. Hooray! No pun future safe. Thank you, friends. First, Tora need these two ingredients. I need the tail of a Telethia and. um. I need. uh. I don't know, I, <laughs> nothing else came up in my mind. Overdrive Appendage HP 15, okay. Alright. Three and... Honestly, I will just... Buy it, I have enough tickets. It should be fine. Knowing my luck, I will probably take... Freaking years until I get to that. Um, yeah, barracks. Also, it seems that multiple people were saying that this quest is epic. So we'll see. In it, bit, 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 bing. So what you want? Avatar Star Wings. Two of them should be fine. Avatar Star Wing, yeah. And an Obsidian Fragment. Obsidian fragment. There you go. For the stream's sake as well. Every single I can't tell you now he says in this book is just scary. How? I, I, does he say that really so often? People are annoyed these things weren't in the game, but it wouldn't make sense to put the Fiora Orion stuff in it. Mm, eh, I don't know. 
investigating the secret Riku Master Pond dialogue in Future Redeemed, and apparently in Japanese he said that he says one person single and this. Yeah, I've heard that. That is somehow a mistranslation thing. And now I was confused. The Malo thing was confusing since the end of Xenoblade 2. Was he alive? Well, yeah, because he was talking to Pyra at the end, yeah? Oh, ugh, Pyra. Um, Pneuma, I mean. He 100% says that Malus is dead in the text, so Logos isn't? Materialism and physical. Physicality do don't matter a lot in Zillblade 3, as everyone died anyway when the merge happened, but it is still worth pondering. A lot of unanswered questions, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad she agreed with me. Sure, that's disappointment, Tatsu. This not enough. But of course, it's not enough. Still need final ingredient. Guardian ether scale. Guardian ether scale. We do. The guardian ether scale is an exceedingly rare material shed by a most singular creature. Uh -huh. A singular creature. It is known as the ruler of fates. Here, see for yourselves. Who? Hey, it's that's right. We saw this creature deep inside Noctilum. It serves as a steward of all life on Mira. Th the Telethia. You're you're talking about the Telethia. It has never been defeated in battle. And Tora want Team Tatsu to fight it? Tora crazy. I was joking when I said a piece of the Telethia. Elma. Future of the Nopon people to be threatened on my watch. Head to Noctilum's divine roost. <laughs> um, but but maybe the game will be kind to me and downscale his level. It says recommended level 52 or something, right? Right? We'll see. Man, it sure is dar dark here. Let me just... Ah. Was any... Okay, never mind. Okay, where's my scale? Yeah, I... I will not go in there without it. I have to admit, the design of this Telethia is pretty sick. There? Huh? Oh, that's right, you wanted to have me in the flight module. Okay, I'm getting nervous here. Last, we have Ooh. arrived at the creature's lair. Fantastic, El, thank you.
So this is it. But wait, is it living inside this thing or what? What? Why do you look at that? Yeah, but it's it's nice towards us, no? I'm not sure whether or not we count as impure in your book. But we'll see about which of us does the culling. Um like now what? Looks like we've got no choice. What? I don't know why I'm doing that. That is a massive problem. Wow. Get closer. Let's do it. Resistant, that is a problem, dude. I, I, I am so dead. Already? What power? This is exactly yeah, no what joke. Against coming here and provoking it. You never said that. Did he fly sideways? Never mind, he came back. Is it letting us go? Tatsu, you're useless. Just so I said that in today's stream. Claim you'll be back to finish it off. I mean, eventually, yeah? Say that you and the ruler of fates understand each other. That sounds way more epic. Legends do claim that the ruler of fates can read the hearts of those it sees to judge their worth. Perhaps we were just fortunate enough to be... Oh, of course, because Telethia can read minds, yeah. What's that? <gasps> he gifted it us. Wait, this is. It appears to be. A Yo, let's go. Really? Yes. Now Tora can make his remedy. It seems we passed the test. Man, the oh, game scared me here for a moment. Okay with you moving in. I was not ready. Uh, well, Tora, I swear, if this... This better be worth it, what you're cooking up. You talk about it so casual. Come, let us ready that remedy for you. And here we go. It is finished. Thank you, friends. Tatsu, glad to see all mm -mm -mm. well. Thanks to friends, no pun future is secure. Oh, and Elma, this is for your team. What is it? A special what? augment born of the remedy's creation. A special augment? It, it shares the remedy's healing properties. How in the world? We'd like to think of it as a gift from the ruler. But of I don't need healing if I have thought at any rate. Decoy? A gift. Welcoming and accepting us all as inhabitants here on Mira. Though healing during the scale would be neat, I suppose. Oh, 
Can I have the first scale? What? I hate Nopon in this game, man. Dude, I'm about to kick this Nopon off this freaking tower. I am genuinely mad. Why are Nopon such useless pieces of garbage in this game? <laughs> Psycho launch art, fantastic. Of course he vanished. Boy. Step right up. Okay, yeah, I guess that was that infinity mission. What else have I written down here? So important quests in up on air. The old gods. Man on ship. Man on ship. This probably needs some other missions, no? Some pre-required T's. Let me see... Xenoblade Wiki... A normal mission... Oh, a normal mission? By Phaeloran. Okay. Really? Bihaba Sumbarak. Zing. Look how many question marks there are, dude. And how many infos. Like I said before, I really have not been around this place often. Troilan? So it's on the other side then. More info. Seems like it. At what? <laughs> okay, yeah, it seems it is really on the other side. Never mind. Oh. Thank you very much, dear people. Man on ship OC goes so hard for no reason. I love the intro. here. Okay, probably a bit further down. Feloran! Oh! You're not a manon? Huh. 
we successfully immigrated to New LA thanks to your help, Spark Sopus. And I know you have aided many of my kind since. Say that you haven't helped this earth that much. I mean, I tried my best, yeah? You speak with confidence and sincerity. No doubt that is why we place trust in you so readily. I truly believe you are the only one who, to whom we can entrust this task. Please help us learn the truth, true face of Golboga? Wasn't that their god or something? Okay, wait. The mission is called the old gods. <laughs> so maybe, yeah. Press Valorant for more information about... Yeah. Golboga was a divine being who existed on our home world of Bedoon. We are taught that he bathed the planet in a sea of Volton before giving birth to our ancestors. I've been conducting research around the clock to uncover the nature of this holy entity as he existed before the day of regrowth. Yet most evidence of Golboga's civilization was lost, dissolved in the Sea of Walton. However, I have just recently learned that someone here on Mira bears a piece of Golboga's legacy. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask you to go and accept that article from them. Then? What do you say? Will you accept this task? Will you actually find out? Thank you. The article is currently in the hands of a Zarubogan named Toluera. He is a heretic, fantastic. When we fled the ganglion, he refused to accompany the rest of us, preferring instead to live alone in Caldros. I do not know what he will demand in exchange for the article, but I ask that you secure it by any means necessary. That one record of, of the lost civilization before ours could become the key to untold discoveries. It could reveal the secrets of my kind's origin and more. You must have... That is... Very interesting. Dialogue is very nice in this quest, gotta go now and actually focus on and study. Well, I wish you good luck with that, Caterpillar. Thank you for joining in. Yeah, that was, that was certainly interesting. Okay, he's in Cauldrus. Hmm. At the very... Edge between Silvalum and Caldras. Silvalum. I will I will call this Silvalum my whole life. Ah, that's where I am. My scales. Love them. Here somewhere? Seemingly, yeah. Um. If you have a problem with me, I hope you realize that. You guys don't stand a chance. <laughs> now I've begun seeing things, but why would I see a mirage human of all things? Very strange. I'm not a mirage. No, the mirage is explaining its own existence, and rather lucidly at that. Fascinating. <laughs> I won't be fooled. 
you think I'll go believing people exist with zero evidence to support it? You have me confused with the foul brethren. Well, if you're not vanishing, I may as well hold on long enough for one last conversation. Why have you come here, Mirage? What? You want me to hand over Gold Boga's legacy? Awfully presumptuous for an illusion. But fine. Bring me a Zerto diamond packed full of highly condensed volt and then it's yours. You are at the brink of death and this is what you're requesting? I stole it from their cathedral to prove Kalboga never existed, but I don't suppose it matters now. If I don't, if I don't believe, uh, I don't devolt and I soon, that and un any other ambitions I hold will die with me. Um, in Sovalum, eh? Looks like I arrived just in time. Well, technically, no. <laughs> uh, we talked about the art book already, and um, I did the Nopon Air quest with the Telefia. Like, just a few minutes ago, really. And now I'm continuing with the old gods. So, there's a bit you missed. I also saw that you uploaded a new video regarding the origin charts. I put that into watch later. I'm man, I I feel like I'm overworking myself a bit again. I I I have vacation technically. I should technically chill out a bit, but I'm not doing that. Is that a good idea? Probably not. But like I said, I have like 10 videos <laughs> currently halfway done. And now I should, I want to switch again because of the art book. Let me just say hello to this piece of trash. What's up? I've never been so up close before. You know what you remind me of? You look like an even older and fossilized version of... Um, here, Abassi. Frickin' I, I... What was his full name again? Yeah, Pharisees, no, that's that, that's not your name. There you go. Should be here somewhere. It's a curse when I upload a video, big info happens. With my first video after some hours, the Wave 3 and 4 trailers release. <laughs> now with this one after some hours, the art book from the lore release. Well, no, not released. Leaked. The release is still a few days ago. Um, we still have a few days until that. I hope you guys don't mind if I just, you know, take a little bit with me. Yeah, thanks guys. I'll move on. Actually, that's a bit further further than I expected. So let me just <laughs> teleport here. Flying over the border. There you go. Oh, I love it when it rains fire like that.
Please don't attack me. Where is she? There is he. Can't go on. What? Strong vault and waves nearby? A diamond that sparkles with creepy light. High levels of harmful toxins are contained within, so extreme care is required when handling. Perfect for him, I suppose. Oh, I feel vault and filling every inch of my body. It's the raw force of a true Zerto diamond. <sighs> huh. It was a mirage I saw. Wait, did you bring me this? Somewhat, yeah. Well, uh, let's ask him if he's alright first. Uh, thanks to you, I don't know what I've ever felt so thoroughly full of Voltant. Which means I have a promise to keep. This disc is what you're after, is it not? A disc? Take it. A disc? Though I still don't understand why a human would desire such a thing. What? Phil Lawrence sent you? Uh, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have handed it over so easily. Uh, perhaps it's not too late though, for you see, if a bal... Gold bag... Gold boga fanatic like him gets his hands on that, he'll spread dangerous rumors. So just hand it back to me. Do that and I'll prove once and for all Golboga doesn't exist. I get to decide that? In a world of Xenoblade Chronicles... Oh, ask what to... Oh, oh, oh okay. Because he's a liar. He demands that all belief is in his precious Golboga when it's clearly a fantasy. My claim was scientific. I said Zarubogan gradually evolved from microorganism floating in the Voltant. But those zealots called me a heretic and silenced my work. So I stole this disc from their grand cathedral on Bedon in order to have my revenge. With all respect. Isn't that just a little bit childish? They disagreed with me, so I stole something from them. No. Actually, could I possibly get you to help me unlock its contents? Contents? I mean, yeah. You and I shall expose for Lauren's lies together. I mean, if we're talking about just, you know, looking into the contents of that, sure. I am thrilled to hear that. The others are Rubogan have always shunned me as a paria. So you are the first ally I've ever known. Who knows, maybe it will convince you otherwise. Everything is possible from this point on. You have to find a Zarubogan called Kiliran. Kil Kiliran. You should be able to break the encryption which locks this disc. Psh. <laughs> Once we're inside it, we'll finally have proof that Golboga never existed. You seem rather sure about that. In Coldros too? Shouldn't be too far, right? Ah, yes. Bim, bim, bim. Ah, there I see the glowing spot. There? 
Not there, right? Wait, you're serious? You have to be kidding! I can walk on it, no? Are you see? I... This will... N no, they actually mean it. Holy moly, you don't attack me? I'm thankful, genuinely. You're crazy, man. I hope you understand that. Mm -hmm. Don't see many humans around these parts, yet for good reason. What brings you here? Some nasty indigents make their homes here. It's... it isn't the sort of place one comes without reason. Yeah? I have a request. Well, yeah, actually, ask him first, what the hell are you doing here? I traveled the planet mapping Vault and Dispersion. The data is crucial to carrying out the mission goal Boga has given us. And you? I have a request. Ah, they want that disk decrypted. Hmm. May I please see it a moment? It's not a model that I'm familiar... that is familiar to me. A hologram disk that contains the image of Golboga, the deity who supposedly gave rise to the Zarubogan. Hmm. I should be able to open it up, though. It shouldn't take too long. I hate to make this quid pro quo, but if you happen to go hunt the Z Dom Sarto stalking the area while you're waiting, I would appreciate it. That thing has nearly had the better of me a few times now during my survey. It's a real pain. I promise I'll have this disc unlocked and waiting for you when you get back. Do you mind? I guess... Is he consuming those flying... things? No. Oh! Oh! Oh, baby, that was most beautiful. Gotta do it two times. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So long, boy. You don't stand a chance. Man, it's so fantastic that I am not afraid of you anymore. Is that normal? I don't think that's normal. Thank you, Simu. You got him? Last day. Now I can finally make some real progress with my survey work. And as luck would have it, I've just finished up here. 
Your disk is decrypted and ready to go. It looked like it holds data on Bad Dune before the day of regrowth. Psh. It may just offer a glimpse at the face of Golboga, the creator himself. I'll admit that I'm curious. Ask if he wants to view the contents of the... the do you want that? I know Golboga made us and I know that it's his will we devoltonize. Past that, my only concern is surveying the land and making it easier to carry out the mission. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of hand left to do, a lot of land have to do. I pray you walk always in Golboga's grace. Alright. Nope. There you go. I have it. You better show me that image. Ah, comrade, friend. Did you manage to get that disc unlocked? Maybe. There it is. Yes, excellent. It appears to be completely accessible now. <laughs> now to pull back the curtain and reveal his cons this conspiracy for the Lyades. We'll tear down the false idol of Golboga that stood for millennia, and those fraudulent zealots who uphold him with it. Tolu Toluera, the finest Zorubogan biologist in history will at last drag the truth kicking and screaming into the light. They look human. And if you're asking me pretty damn human, JB was talking about it. Those are the Sumerians or Samarian, right? And pretty much one of their slaves that they created. Pretty much their trash disposals or something in that direction. <laughs> Uh, 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 what is this? This isn't possible. This... Uh, no, I, I won't accept this. My, my research proves that Zorobogan evolved from microorganism dwelling in Voltant. It proves... And... And... And why would Goboga look like that? Ask what it is that Toru refuses to accept. Well, what do you think does that look like? Golboga does not exist. Must not exist. These records are falsified. Lies. All of them. Otherwise, it would mean all my research was wasted. It would mean Feloran's rantings were right. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. And why would Golboga look like that? Why would he be identical to a human? You... You did this! Else you're here in the same form as Golboga, just as mock... Just to mock me. Go then, be gone, take this... If it will make you leave. I'm not wrong. I know I'm not.
<laughs> or are you planning to flood this planet with Voltant as before? Will you create more warp life? What gives you the right? Do you interfere with natural evolution and reject its authority just so you can style yourself as gods? Wow! <laughs> Humanity has that right! God damn! <laughs> Protest that humans aren't that narcissistic? Well, not all of them. No, everyone's just trying to deceive me. I'm sure this, this is also fake. There is no creator. What's so wrong about this? the thought of that, though? <laughs> I wish all the vault in Omira would vanish and the Sorobogan would die out. Damn. Someone is having a meltdown. Gone he is. Hmm. Fascinating to say the least. So that's that mission. Interesting. <laughs> we have a problem. You and me. That is perfect. Gone. Reduced to atoms. Right. So, there is still two left that I have written down. Also, something that came up in my mind. Um, administrative district. Hangar entrance. I also mentioned that I wanted to do that in this stream just for completion's sake. No, that direction. Here, murderous. And what do you want? Hmm? Have you found a mission that pays enough to be worthy my time? If so, I'm all ears. All ears. But if you simply come here to chat, I can't promise that you'll live to hear the end of our conversation. Okay. Something has updated in the... Oh. It's that mission. That appeared now. Is that Irina's mission? It seems like it. Okay, I thought something would happen if I talked to her. But there's probably an affinity mission for her somewhere. I also need hope. This would be the last one I need. Beside her. I think... I have been looking it up. It was somewhere, no, not industrial district, residential district. Somewhere between the houses. Oops. I can drive around with my scale, right? I should also move not too fast. Because the game can be rather slow when it comes to loading those characters in. Fog is here. Hope. 
Hope Springs Eternal. Except marry me basic mission? You, huh? Did I talk to you before? Hello, is there something you wish to discuss? I'm speaking with someone else right now, so you'll have to wait until we're finished. But I would very much like to help with whatever is troubling you, so I hope you'll come back and ask me again very soon. Okay, let me do the actual relevant missions then first. I have still open the Fateful Choice mission. And it, I, I'm actually at the red location already. The Celeste 3. Wait, fateful choice. Oh, the Orphean. A Orphean normal mission. On to none. I need a Noctilum survey rate of 85 percent? 85? Joker the Unknowable. <laughs> Is this the Tlethia? Maybe. Wow, okay, wait, I... I was not expecting that. But why... Why is the mission wanting me to... Okay, my bad, I've been spoiled. <laughs> the mission requires defeating the Telethia? What is this mission? I am far from ready to defeating a Telethia. I know that there's also the Definian quest line that I've been told to do. Let me also look that up. So I see, yeah, there was one pre... I, I shouldn't read the texts that stand there beside you know, the restrictions or what I have to do. The pre-required requisites. I can't talk, man. So yeah, I finished chapter 10. Ah, uh, attack on... wait, let me look through my missions. I need to do this one. Alex's last stand. And I also need Rites of Ruin, but I think I did Rites of Ruin. I remember finishing it. Oh, those are the only ones I have left. Well, there you go. And attack on... Bayano Hills is something I've also done, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if it appears if I do this.
Let's teleport. Right. So is he in that building? Wait. Here? It wasn't... Wasn't there a boss or something? I don't remember. Probably this one, I don't know. I'm gonna snipe you. No scope. Ah! Oh. I don't think we should help. He look he seems to be in a rather unfortunate position. Which is fine by me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I found you. Ah. I knew you'd come. I knew it. You had to come and try to kill Alex. That's how you are. What you are. Humans live to kill each other. <laughs> it's so funny. You think? Oh, don't be so stiff. Come on. Let's play. Also, did you see that thing on her on the back of her head? Dude, that looks like a Yiga symbol. <laughs> It really does. Oh, Alex, I won the bat. May I also keep this alien as a toy to play with? Do whatever you like, so long as you stop that ear-splitting laughter. But first I need your help. <laughs> you got it! There, see? On the back of her head. Like an upside-down Sheikah symbol. Or actually, it looks like a Sheikah symbol. The lore keeps on expanding. Once I kill you, who will come to kill Alex next? <laughs> I can't wait. Isn't that the same scale we thrashed before? My bad. There's more now. Where's your scale, man? Don't you think this is this is video game logic, man? You wouldn't stand a chance. Oh, that's a beautiful sight, man. Oh, sniped the wrong one. And they're gone. Why the sad music? It's your own fault, really? <laughs> we lost! <laughs> Boo! You aren't well mentally. Is it right? <laughs> hey, look! Blood! <laughs> Weird! Huh? I can't stand. <laughs> look, my hand! My right hand is broken! <laughs> oh, it hurts so much! It hurts! <laughs> Wow! Damn. I, I, <laughs> Alex is something else. I didn't ex anticipate you sniffing us out here. Let's not talk about that Nopon. You brought this upon yourself, man. Even though no the Nopons kind of deserve that. 
then I am to blame for all this? <laughs> How amusing. You're a blind follower of that ignorant girl. A puppet. Nothing more. Just remember that being victorious doesn't mean that you are right. My back is to the wall, and yet you seem so calm. Did you never consider I might have allies lying in ambush, you credulous fool? <laughs> now that I think about it, I doubt heaven or hell awaits fabricated beings like us. Is this the end I hope to meet? Elisa, what happened? We used to see eye to eye. I thought he's about to end himself, man. But he just fell. Okay, but that then ends this mission. It was a quicker end than I thought it would be. Hmm. Thank you. Welcome back. I guess we won't have to worry about Alex again, huh? He did. Elisa is dying to hear your report. Go tell her about all about it, Spark Sopus. Oh, <laughs> my bad. It's now over, isn't it? For good. Yes, well, I'm just glad you're safe. Now, New LA and the rest of Mira can build towards a lasting place. Uh, peace. Oh, do you were talking, okay. Yes, things are going to get busy. Bring it on. Getting there together will be half the fun. We are... Oh, we've already lost so many along the way. I pledge to do all I can to see that no more lives are lost in the struggle for equality and acceptance in New LA. Question if that's too much for Lisa to handle. Tell Elise to hang in there. Well, let's just encourage her for that. Hey, thanks, but this isn't just about me, you know. It's about Elisa and everyone else. After all, if we're gonna make New LA a place where humans and xenoforms can live as friends, I'll take every last citizen to make it happy. Oh, Elisa, don't forget this reward. Oh, of course, thank you for helping us time and, time and again. Thank you. The end of an idealist. So this ends this quest line, huh? Technically. I pray this is the last time we'll have need of your services but once this la fight is for <laughs> once this long fight is over i hope you'll join us in celebrating there you go alex was someone else man that was that was oh did you did you see how long it took for that texture to load in even seamus emulating the wii u here I see a new on the map. Right here. But why? Oh, heart to heart. With who? Oh, 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 L. Okay, I see. But now I should be searching for... Someone called HT665 Aereo. A question mark on the map. But I don't see any question marks. Oh, seriously, I don't see any question marks. Oh, is there still something missing?
So, let me see. Attack on Piano Hills. Registered. Dude, what is that connection? Let, let me see where she is. She is a member of the mediators and can be found at any time or day. Her location changes several times during the day. Wait, Suriella, wasn't she... Oh wait, no, I did that mission. No, I definitely did that mission. Then the only thing left was Rites of Ruins. That is stopping Frazy, and I did that as well. I'm such... Oh, I'm such an idiot. Maybe I, I was looking at the wrong thing. You good? Something you need? Who are you? Why are you here and want to be left alone? If you got no business here, get going. And if you do, make it quick. Ask about the Celeste 3. Oh, I see. I have nothing to say to you. So be it. Your own mistake, really? No, that is a bit too far away. Rock? No. Also not it. Cent Central Industrial District. So somewhere here. They even sound um, rather mechanical, like a robot. You're back. I've been waiting. What? Surprised to have a criminal with a record of trickery come to see you all on her own. Lara Nara said he'd let me go free if I came and talked. Why did I curse on me? I have no idea what my next move is after turning on the ganglion, do you? Propose that Ariel join you in fighting them. I mean, having a new companion in general is never a bad idea. Tell uh, no. Why not? You taught me the joy of living, the workings of life. I'd like to continue to nurture that within me. But that would mean making an enemy of all my sisters who work for the ganglion. I don't know if I'm capable of that. 
capable of hurting a fellow Definian, I mean. Hmm. No, allowing my sisters to go on compounding their crimes and thoughtless obedience is far worse. There is one task before me which takes precedence over all others. I must free my sisters from their loathsome mission. Will you help me? You are the only one in this city who knows who I truly am. I can turn to no one else. Fortune is coming topside. This could be our chance. Hmm. I have deceived you time and again and still you would help me. Thank you. I feel like I understand why Lara Nara sent me to speak to you. Um... Yeah, sure, give me more information about Fortune. The Sage Fortune that... Or Fortune that given has given our orders since ancient times, though I have never seen her in person. Mm -hmm. She is being transported across Sovalum right now, guarded by my sisters. If we can take her out, we may be able to free them from bondage. Please find that Definian squad and take Fort Fortune from them. Sounds not too hard. Should be manageable. Maybe. Let's go. Right under what is this orb? There's once again multiple of those blue circles on it. Here comes the lesser organisms. Damn. You will kneel before the glory of our queen. What queen? You've come all this way without knowing anything? Nice robot you have there. Then you will die in ignorance. Fortune commands it. Oh, my bad. You dead. You are Fortune. You will not touch me with those filthy hands. Is that orb saying that? I am Fortune, queen of the Definians and keeper of the galaxy's wisdom since time immemorial. You will act as befits a lesser being in my present? Drag Fortune along like a sack of potatoes? Treat Fortune in the manner befitting royalty? Uh, maybe... You know, maybe keeping it respectful here will do me a favor in the future, you know? Hmm. It seems you are at least capable of some form of intelligent thought. Then I will not resist for now. Take me where you will. Absolutely fantastic. Truthfully, it matters not. In time you will know death at the hands of my daughters. Where? Oh, I just put it into my pocket. Well, that's convenient. And back to the industrial district.
How most fortunate. Ah. <laughs> found i feel her you have brought for no it is fortune no you pronounce it fortune so that is what has ruled over us as queen and mother of uh, and mother all these years for all the crimes she forced upon us i can't help but feel a nostalgic warmth um Didn't seem all that impressive. Well, I like to disagree. It definitely looks uh, unusual, to say the least. But what will you do now? Analyze the data first and foremost. My sisters are far too merc mercurial to pin down unless I have an absolute grasp of all the definions. I think it's time I had a long talk with mother here. And when I'm done, I will stop my sisters from doing any more evil, no matter what it takes. Mechanical immigration? So, like, all of them are now? All of them can stay here in ULA? I mean, fine, fine by me. That means, though... We can go for the next one. And this one is in the commercial district. Oh wait, that was mine. There you go. Commercial district. So it wasn't you? Well, would you look at that? We must speak. Oh, Spark Soap is good. Processing the data took time, but I'm finally close to the information about my sisters. Once I have that, I should be able to free them. <laughs> a perilous little definion like you believes she can thwart her mother's ambitions. Not alone, but with Spark Soap's help, absolutely. Uh, right? I'm sure you'll be able to overcome any trick or trap she throws our way. Of course. And what will a single human do? That pathetic creature is just another marionette dancing at my command. He isn't like us Definians. If you look him in the eye, he see his confidence and resolve, and still feel nothing, then I pity you, mother. Alright, the analysis is complete. Uh, what? Could mother and so few Definians really control all of my sisters? If this is true, then freeing my sisters should be easy. We just have to dispose of the three Definians in that base. <laughs> you honestly think that thing there is capable of defeating the three sisters? There are my finest masterpieces among the Definians. If you so much as approach them, your death will be assured. I imagine this will be the last request I ever make of you, Sparksopus. Will you put an end to my kind's long history of deception and sub subjugation? I will receive mother. When uh, father when? <laughs> Thank you. I knew I could count on you. I'll obtain the access code to the base from mother now. That should allow you to face the three sisters. Oh, I should talk to her. You want to know the access code? Well, I'll give it to you under one condition. Kill that traitor and return me to my daughters. Do this and I will tell you all you wish to know. That's not how it works. You can pay no... Yeah, let's ignore her. So be it. 
In time you will die alongside that traitor. I have all your data, Spark Zopus. There is no hiding place that you that can keep you safe. What is there to know about me that is so much of a big deal? Ignore Mother's words. Once she no longer has my sisters to command, she will be powerless to act on any threats. More importantly, I figured out the encryption system. Her pompous AI itself is what's protecting that data. So if we can find a way to erase her personality, we'll have our access code. Fiend. Would you really kill your own mother? Could your weak will Definian survive my loss? I am afraid to find out. Ah, empty bravado. You Definians need me. But enough talk. If, you've ca if you're capable of ending me, then do it. <laughs> hey, Spark Opus, what do you think I should do? Should we kill her or look for some other way? Okay, but why aren't they wearing clothes? <laughs> I mean... The camera couldn't be more obvious pointed to that, right? Like the whole ass cheek just freaking hanging there. I don't know, I, I guess mercy is the way to go. Isn't that what Elma was always saying? So I guess we'll go with mercy. What? I don't know how to get past her encryption. It would take a scientist with almost supernatural knowledge. Oh, I know some. Are we really going to find someone like that here in ULA? Professor B! <laughs> of course! How could I not think of him? Where's my skull? I have a request. Hey, Spock Sopus. Got any leads on some quick cash? Tell her that you haven't heard anything lately. No, I haven't actually. My bad. Shame that. Well, we're always waiting for promising leads here, so if anything crops up, drop on by. I, uh, the, uh, Professor, I, I have something. I need to talk. What's that? An ancient metallic organism. Uh, doesn't sound very lucrative. <laughs> if you say so. But it does sound truly amazing. Huh. It's been a while since something came, uh, come along to tickle my researching fancy. You've got my scholarly curiosity peaked, kid. Right, bring that sucker on over then, kid. The great Professor B will get to the bottom of this one personally. Wouldn't, would you mind to just come with me? Instead of me having to bring it to you? Oh, never mind. I see. Oh, truly amazing indeed. The metal's internal structure has organized itself into a processing system which manifests what you could call, right, could rightly call a will. Not really something you see every day, this. Who is this brute? Accessing data storage now. Hmm. Data not found? No, that cannot be. Eh, there is no information at all of space I do not know. Well, mark my words. I am Fortune, Queen and Keeper of the Galaxy's Knowledge since time immemorial. My soul is not for the likes of you to touch, you filthy animal. Well, she is certainly a fan of herself. Ah. What say we dig in there and modify her personality a little, hmm? 
If we switch her encryption AI personality out for a chatty one, she'll happily tell you anything you could think to ask. I accept that. Right then, I just need you to bring, of course, bring me a resonating mod Madonator. And an octopus board? Get me those and I'll have her royal highness minding her peace and cues in no time. Ooh. How many tickets do I still have? 312. I think I can get that. Should be fine. Let's just hope for that. Ding 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 ding. Ding 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 ding. ding. Uh, and yeah, I agree also on Professor B. I love him as well. <laughs> he has some pretty good quests. Octopus board. Ninety-eight more than doable. There you go. Straight to his lap. I'm back! Oh, thanks, science are back. This sucker was getting on my last nerf. Seriously, another hour of that and I've had smashed her to bits. So hand over those materials, kid. I'm going to lose it if I don't reprogram her right now. There you go. All right, good. I'll let you to. I'll get to work straight away. Wakey, wakey, X and bakey. Time to be reborn, fortune. <laughs> Stop this! No, do not think of. I'm Queen Def, Queen of the Definians, keeper of the galaxy knowledge since time immemorial. Ah! No! Oh, with a new color, too! That looks fancy! There you go. Hey there, Miss Fort Fortune, why don't you introduce yourself? I am Fortune, Queen of the Definians and Keeper of the Galaxy's Knowledge since time immemorial. Bow down before me, wretched fools! Oh well, crap. That's not actually different at all. The old girl's not grit, I'll give her that. I will take more than a primate with a screwdriver to remake me, you loose fool. <laughs> Stupid ugly booger face. Though she does seem an awful lot less mature now, I wouldn't be surprised if she cracked under a little bit of interrogation at this point. Nah, -uh, stupid. There's no way I'm telling your dumb face that access codes ever. Now, hit me, Sparksopus. I command you to kill everyone here and take me to my daughters, and totally hurry it up already. Tickle? A firm nudge? What are those options? The... Nudge. What does nudge mean? I have to freaking Google that real quick. Hmm. I, maybe that's the right one. Oh, what are you? Stop! Stop! <laughs> the, the tickles! <laughs> Uh, Alright, I'll talk. 
That worked! <laughs> I'll give you the stupid access code. Just stop this violence at once. Got it. Now if we can just take down the three sisters, the organization driving my kind to crime will crumble. Their base is in Cauldros, of course. Oh, and I know their combat abilities are far beyond my own, so be ready for a tough fight. I don't think it will be that hard. Righty. Bam, 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 Tickling her did it, huh? I'm not even gonna question that. Ganglion Antropolis. Wait, I've been here before. Of course, I've been here before. What do you mean, new area? But where was the entrance again? Because that was not it. Let's see... No, I don't think that was the entrance, right? Or was it? I don't think it was. So can't I just... Oh! Even further down? <gasps> Is that... Oh. Ganglion Antropolis? Ah, can't get in there with my scale. <gasps> we saw those walls before! I can open them now! I saw one in Primordia! Okay, that is... a slightly bigger area than I expected. Let me just do this... And that. That. From the side. I need to get some of that juicy TP back. Alice already dead? Crazy, man. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just, you know... Frrr, frrr. I should also... There you go. Get some of that TP back, there you go. Maxed out! Brrr. 
You're dead. There you go. Oh, I'm so glad still that I can do proper overdrives. This is a bit too high for me. Or is it? <laughs> I don't feel like fighting every single one of you, to be quite honest. A lot of containers and homes or whatever that is. Stop it. There you go. How big is this cave? Of course. Sure, whatever. There you go, there you go, there you go. Let's make it quick. There you go. Ooh. Maybe good. Come on! Yes! Yes! Cutscene? Don't tell me I need another code. Oh no. Any success in infiltrating the Three Sisters' quarters? What? There's a barrier blocking your way? Hmm. I remember that security being in place when I was still there. You'll need to find three keys distributed between the Definians and Mil Sadi. Though I doubt they'll ever dream they'd be invaded. So you may find them just lying around nearby. <laughs> In any case, once you obtain three, you should be able to pass through the barrier to the sisters. Why? So probably in those chests... You know, in the... This is so unrealistic. Why would I stop mid-air? Okay. Frrr. Let's get rid of this per... Okay, that was... I should have reactivated my decoy way earlier. You guys really don't keep or generate any TP at all, huh? Right. Yeah, no, I don't think. Yeah, whatever. Back here? Wow. Right. It sure would have been nice if... That's also not normal. Yeah, if I could have taken my scale with me. Just a phoenix attack from here would be nice. 
Or I think the radius isn't big enough anyways to... Nah, wouldn't be. Eh. I don't think there's any use to... Or maybe there is? Something genius about it. Is that it? No. Just loot. <laughs> of course. There you go. We should be there rather soon. Was that smart? Maybe not. Should be fine though. Beam, 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 beam. Maxed out. Spectacular indeed. Do you see that very neat clapping that I did there with my hands? Sure. Let's take quick care of them. One more time. No, you don't. Let's just increase the tape. Yeah, there you go. Max out again. to be it that looks like a chest but no no key oh, I'm so tired of you folks already maybe something up there Oh, of course. Let me just run past them. All of that is rather problematic. Who was hunting me? Oh, there's a key. I am... Oh, dude, who was attacking us still? You? Oh, 
Oh my guess. Yeah. Oh please guys, don't Don't make this dude aggressive. Of course dropped Ah fantastic. This is just getting worse and worse. You guys are annoying. So it should be fine for the TP side of things. Let's end it. First barrier key? Oh! Third barrier key. So I'm still missing one? Is that it? Inventory. Important items. First and third barrier key. Okay, there's another guardian still left. I'd like to believe that he's not him. Sharnax, no. Are you the other guardian? The Finian clone. How am I supposed to know that? It seems the sleeping dogs have risen. So since there's already two of them in here. Yeah, I, no. L. I wouldn't call. Huh. 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 I, I fought you before. There you go. Maxed out. You render's an eye, boy. Done. You no. Sure, gotta attract all of you folks too. At this point, doesn't matter really. How am I dead? Did I forget to activate my decoy? Did I forget it? They don't even do anything. Oh, don't tell me my party is stuck. <laughs> oh, AI. Game AI. Why do you do that to me? Oh, and I'm back here again.
Come on, I was so close. Some true magic right there. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, this is another cutscene, right? I can't even interact with this one. I see. Zero TP. Okay, because I died. That makes sense. Um. I'm always ready to shine, boy. You know, overall, I'm getting rather quickly to the 3,000 TP. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm receiving damage. I'm receiving damage. Spam! <laughs> Stop this mess! Fantastically for asking me. <sighs> Why am I missing almost anything? easy what you're hiding from me buddy good for you keep on hiding well <laughs> of course Oh wait, I, I completely messed up. You know, I, I sure have my moments in combat. Yes. No. <laughs> Do so badly. Not gonna make it. Oh, 
And I'm back here. been told that this is a really good quest, so there must be a good ending, I suppose. Now I have to get past all those Definians again. Will the same skills help me out now? No, of course not. But I think I can just run past them. We're fine. We're more than fine. I'll just continue moving forward. are indeed really feeling it. Zero, zero, one? Ooh. Okay, cutscene time. Ah, uh, I thought I smelled something. Looks like the livestock has wandered in. <laughs> Indeed, sister. Though this clever little animal is the one who took mother. <laughs> and he came back to his own accord. He must be just dying for a beating. But it is so surprising as a life born solely to serve as a tool for our use. Such a creature should come to accept its punishment and spare us the inconvenience of hunting it down. So, as a special reward, let us kill it ourselves! Are you ready, my sisters? By all means, let be, let's be done with this soon, it's nearly time for tea! Tea? A nice bit of exercise before snack time sounds fine, I'm ready to rent some flesh. Then let us begin, you there, animal, you maybe use these final breaths to curse your birth to as a lesser organism. You're done, girls. Do you have any idea? 38? I thought you were a big deal. Righty. So I'm good on the TP part again. Let's finish it. Oh, they're oh, they're down so quickly. Is this the last one? No, there's still one left. There you go. They're gone! Harris, do answer me. Uh, my sister's voice has gone silent. Eh. 
But no. No, that only means we need to apply a greater force to training you, to breaking you. That's how it has always been with each new race of primitives. You are no different, and you will bow as the rest. Like what? We just leave them running? After her? Oh, you can't go any further. No. She went outside. Actually, let me just... For my own sanity. Or is she still down there? Probably. She may be deeper into this cave still than I expected. Maybe <laughs> I really should have just run by foot outside. Oh man. There's gonna be a cutscene somewhere, so I'll just run past all of them. Sup? Yep. Great to see you. Indeed. L, thank you for being the meat shield. Nothing personal, I promise. Oh! Oh, that is a problem. Oh, that is a problem. We have traveled far and sub subjugated the inferior races of many plants together with our mother fortune. It is as a law of the universe, and surely lives livestock cannot be happy without the hand of a master to guide them. Are you really incapable of seeing even so obvious a truth? Um, say that you don't see their point as their obvious or true, as either obvious or true. Retort that you're working to build a world of equals. Yes. <laughs> Nowhere in all existence will you find equality. The very thought of is unnatural. You will learn that now. You will see you are now and will forever remain weaklings. N nice Rexoskel? Rexoskel? Okay, I should activate decoy. What the? No need to make any unnecessary risks, really. I should have actually get the counter up first. There you go. There you go. Quite a damage sponge. Let's also activate this one. Sure, why not? Very nice indeed. We're getting there, folks. Don't stress it. We're, we're not going down, Lin. Stop it. 
failed. Of course I failed. That should be it. Close. Now. There you go. This should not be. You are an inferior organism. We're absolute masters. It is it is a law of the universe. Mother told us so. Well, hey, La uh, L, what's up with your weapons? Ah, Mother Fortune, at your daughter's now. What is she doing? What was that? Trying to leave again. Dude, it just continues and continues. That is a massive cave. So isn't that... It looks identical to the entrance. Didn't she go the other way around? No, wait, it is the... Is that the other side? Looks like the other side. Or are those my skills? They look like my skills. I can no longer hear mother. Tell me this, Sparksopus, before you go. Yes, we have deceived you. Yes, we've claimed lives. But that is our job. In this finite universe of ours, it is the sacred duty of superior beings to weigh the value of all life. Do you truly believe that humanity in its weakness, ignorance and hubris really merits survival, even at the cost of eliminating superior life like us? <laughs> Declare that no life is superior or inferior to another. There you go. You are a fool, and that is why your kind is hopeless. This time we will show you the paltry worth of your human life by force. Who's we? Well, this should be easier. <laughs> As I was saying, snipe. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just grab. There you go. You do a fantastic job, team. Truly. Brrr. Missing everything. Whatever or why ever that's the case. Hey, 
Oh, there you go. There you go. You didn't stand a chance from the very start. Who? Oh, El Scale broke. Wait, it didn't even... It barely scratched you? Okay, Elmo lost her scale as well. Ah. Not worth it. Who cares? Let's just go back to the commercial district. Bim bada bim. Also, is there any new info by any chance? Regarding the art book? I wonder. Should have looked into some stuff. The voices that was always being broadcast into my head was finally fallen silent. Is it all finally over? I can confirm that, yes. Thank you. Now we can final all finally be free of the manufactured madness mother and the sisters force upon my sisters and I. They'll simply blend into the things around them and live out peacefully, quiet lives. Thank you for all that you've done, and for being so kind to someone like me. Take this, it's the least I can do in return. Is that a new super weapon? A new skill? I may not still look like this, but I'll be around the city. Let's meet again someday. Alright, come on, Mom. Ah, well, I will not be manhandled in this way. I am the ruler of all sp- Hey, what are you doing? You're not the ruler of anything anymore, Mom. You're just a chatty ball. And I'm here to make sure that you never forget it. <sighs> this is a violation of my rights and autonomy. Your parents should be ashamed. Well, I mean... Alright. So, and with that... If I look into my notes... Yeah, Fateful Choice was something endgame, so technically this is all that I have written down. But man, Fateful Choice requires so much in the future, it's actually kinda crazy. But I think that's it. Also looking through the Discord uh, real quick. Oh, yeah. Um, can anyone tell me if the affinity missions with uh, let me see, was it here? Commercial district? No, wait. My dream. I'm sure that they're fine, but is it like something that's worth it to do on stream? I may as well do them then myself, eventually. There's also Soldier of the Harriers. Those two. 
um, commercial district. Affinity mission wise, everything is done. When it comes to normal missions, there's like still billions of them, and I'm I'm not gonna do 100% on stream. <laughs> Yeah, just a lot of heart-to-hearts here, and I saw a lot of normal quests in the Manon ship. Okay, um, I guess, well, I have done everything that was written down in the Discord server, so I guess I'll end it here. We've also been streaming for a, a slightly over three hours, so I'd say for a bonus stream... This is quite solid. We also talked about the art book. Uh, yeah, actually, wait, let me... Let me look into some of my sources. If there's anything I missed, or anything new that came up. Okay, it seems that... No, not exactly. Okay, but yeah, like I said, we are only one and a half days away from the official release of that book, so... It should be fine. It should be fine. I think I'll also then um, go ahead right now, edit the thing I started talking about at the start of the stream regarding the leaks. Cut it all together and probably make it release at midnight <laughs> on April 1st. <laughs> so yeah, I'll make it happen. Alright folks, I think I'll call it a day. I hope it was an entertaining stream. I thank you all very much for watching. You... Man, you're not prepared for the upcoming videos. I know I haven't been uploading for a few weeks now, but let me tell you that the waiting time will be worth it. I promise that. The waiting time will be worth it. Okay, so then I'll see you all next week then for some more Pikmin 4. <laughs> I'll see you guys all then. And I wish you all also a good holiday time. Bye guys. You guys have a good one. <laughs>